Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at Jazz at Catano here in New York City. Making a rare appearance here at Jazz at Catano is two-time Grammy-nominated jazz vocalist Denise Donatelli, and she's had a stellar 2013. One, a couple of weeks ago, she made a guest appearance on The Simpsons, which marks its 25th season on Fox, as well as she was nominated for jazz vocal, best jazz vocal, for her album Soul Shadows, which is on the Savant label. We sat down early and we talked about 2013, we talked about the Grammy experience, we talked about her origins growing up in Allentown, Pennsylvania, as well as we sat down and we talked about and reflect on the life of Neil Hefty. As you might know, she was mentored by the great conductor and arranger, and we we'll also sat down and we talked about the differences between the New York jazz scene versus the Los Angeles jazz scene. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the sounds. I miss Denise Donatelli live here at Jazz at Catano here in New York City. San Francisco This has been a stellar 2013, and I think the icing on the cake was, was it last week, you did The Simpsons. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It was a parody of Nancy Sinatra's You Only Live Twice, only since it was The Simpsons, it was You Only Live Once. And I think the lyric goes, you only live once, but that's okay. <laughs> you only live once in the USA. It was so silly. And uh, I think I held my nose for a couple of, uh, <laughs> while I was in the booth, just to get that, that sound, that Nancy sound. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, quite, a, quite a kick. I ended up getting a full screen credit at the end of the show. And um, they played another chorus in the in, in the uh, out credits so. you you do know that you know when you hit the simpsons the simpsons is almost like hitting like dave letterman or like jay leno i know 
I know. It was... <laughs> And all of their jokes, they're so inside. Everything is so inside. In fact, uh, you, the James Bond movie, You Only Live Twice, I think that, I, I Googled it, it was out in 1967. So for, for an animated program to cater to an older generation, and in fact, uh, the funniest part of it for me was, um, I don't know if you're aware of the, the arrangement, but the strings go, do 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 So the whole setup was uh, Homer was going through his change of, uh, you know, his, his midlife crisis. And uh, he realized that he, you know, this was his life and he hadn't done anything. So they played my song while he was walking down the street and he ends up in a bar. And he starts to cry. And as he's crying, he's crying like this. <sighs> <laughs> it's so silly and so so funny. So um, yeah, I'm I'm blessed. I'm uh, Alf Clausen is a, is a good friend of mine, and he's been very generous to me. You know, and invited me um, a number of times to come and sing with the uh, with the chorus with the girls. This time was it was a solo it was a solo feature. So congratulations to on. Just, you know, you, you were nominated twice for your Soul Shadows recording on Savant Records. And, you know, one of the things I want to ask you, I'm, everyone who knows me, you know, I'm a real big Crusaders and, and oh. I, 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 yeah, Joe Sample. And I want to know how you chose Soul Shadows. One, because the song is very deep. It's really like a history story. And in, and in Will Jennings also is, I think, the perfect lyricist who oh. kind of, and then the original, yes. yeah, and the original was with the Crusaders and Bill Withers. Bill Withers, that's right. And it was a laid-back, funky. I, I loved it. Well, uh, Jeffrey Keezer, who um, I've worked with now on three projects, and um, he sent me an email one morning, and he said I had a dream that we did Soul Shadows as a bassa. He said, what do you think? So, you know, I thought about this for a while. I mean, I love Joe Sample, and I love Bill Withers' rendition of it. But it worked. And I, so I wrote back to him, and I said, yeah. I said, let's do it. So it's, it's, the, it's the genius of Jeffrey Keezer, you know. Well, you and Jeffrey have collaborated for quite a few records now. Tell me about Jeff. I've interviewed Jeffrey on the Pace Report. In fact, I interviewed him earlier this year. Tell me about what he brings as an arranger as well as an accompanist, because you guys have a great chemistry together. Yes, we do. Yeah, we really do. He brings, oh my goodness, he brings creativity, uh, imagination, and a very fresh approach to worn out tunes basically I mean songs that have been recorded a number of times but when Jeffrey plays them uh, it's it's like a brand new composition um, and not only that he has such a vast knowledge of music I mean he's not really stuck in one bag he'll look at uh, you know, music from Katie Tunstall to to Rush to um, which, by the way, is his favorite band, from what I understand. You know, so he comes. He brings a lot of a lot of uh, interesting um, music to me. Oh, and Jonathan Brook. We did uh, a Jonathan Brook tune. So um, yeah, it's it's a great combination. I to the trip on a tree. And I thought about you I passed in a shadowy lane And I thought about you Two or three cars parked under the stars A winding stream Same old dream. And 
What's the scene like in Los Angeles versus New York and some of the major jazz meccas across the country, if not the world? Mm. It's, well, there are more studios, I think. And there's a lot of studio work. So in terms of a jazz scene, um, it's, it's there. I mean, there are, there are venues. There's a club by the name of Vitello's. Uh, which was made famous by Robert Blake. <laughs> but it's completely revamped. All those old booths <laughs> have been taken out, and it's just a lovely, lovely club. And April Williams has done a remarkable job in uh, bringing in the best music. So there's Vitello's. There's also still Catalina's. Um, and there are, there's, now there's a, a space downtown, and, and um, it's called the Blue Whale. Uh, that's, that's downtown. So, you know, little by little, it's, it's certainly, there's no comparison to New York. You know, this is the Mecca. Skylar, have you anything to say? Take or what were you, what did you think when you got the word that you were nominated? And also, Jeffrey was nominated also for arranging the song on your record. When lights are low, that was the that was the first nomination. Um, I was flabbergasted. I mean, in, in a word, stunned. I was completely stunned. The project, you know, when you're so close to a project, you lose you lose sight of how good it really is, you know, and, and it, it's hard as an artist to, to really, I don't know, um, I, I was very close to it and probably too close. In fact, when I listen to it now, it's, it's like, uh, I, wow, damn, you know, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's really good. Um, but Jeffrey, I knew that Jeffrey's arrangement of Don't Explain was going to be it was really special. I mean, he, he arranged a number of uh, songs on that album. And I asked him, I said, what song would you like to, to submit? And he said, don't explain. So that was a no-brainer. In fact, he sent me the MP3, and he did it on a, a MIDI recording. Um, it's a MIDI recording of, of just piano, of the parts. And as, when I heard it the first time, uh, I, I started to cry. It's just stunningly beautiful. You know, sad. <laughs> Very sad. 
so he's very deserving of, of that. I, I, actually, I thought he was deserving of the Grammy, but, you know, we're just happy to be nominated. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it again for another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live at Jazz at Catano here in New York City. I'd like to personally thank the talented Denise Donatelli for her time, as well as the staff and management at Jazz at Catano for their hospitality. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Till next time, peace. San Francisco morning, coming clear and cold. Don't know if I'm waking or I'm dreaming. Riding with that swallow, I'm a super chief. He said music's real, the rest is seen. So